And now it's time for Coach's Comments, presented by Southside Auto Tech. Cristiano Simonetta with you, joined alongside by Stars Head Coach and GM Chris Michael. And Mike's tough one for your guys tonight. You fall 3-1 to one against the Tri-City Storm on the road. The key word for me or phrase is transition play. I thought you guys had plenty of opportunities on the odd man rush. You shot yourselves in the foot on a couple of them. How can you shore up that transition play uh, for tomorrow night against Omaha? I, I thought we were good in transition with the puck. Um, I thought at times we just got a little puck focused on our track home, uh, back to our own zone, and uh, instead of staying with a man all the way to the front, you know, to, to the front of the net, like we kind of got mesmerized by the puck at times. And uh, when you see two guys going to one puck carrier, it's going to be trouble. And you know what? To me, what that is is guys overworking. And, so those are things that we, we always tell our guys, if they're going to make a mistake, make a hard one, we'll correct you. And you know what, we're, you know, we're, we're getting younger um, with the guys that are in our lineup, and, and we expect those type of mistakes. So you know what, um, it's not the result we want, but I liked our game, I liked our process. A um, couple things that, you know, one bounce goes one way and not the other, then who knows, maybe the result is different, but um, we've been process driven from day one, we like our process. Um, we've had a different result in this building um, on the wrong side of it. And again, it was the wrong side of it on the result, but um, it's gonna be process all, all the rest of this year. And, and you know what? I'm really proud of our group to tell you the truth. And, and I know our fans probably don't wanna hear moral victories and all, but you know, I, I don't really care. Like it, when our guys go out and compete the way they did tonight, you know what? I'm proud of them and we're going to support them and we're going to keep working and yeah, you know, we'll look at the video again and we're going to get better going into Omaha tomorrow night. Yeah, it looks a lot more one-sided with the scoreboard 4-1. You fire 29 shots on goal and how many opportunities were in the slot? Connor Hopkins, he was great for Tri-City. So how does that message continue to be simplify, stay to the course because if you deviate, you know it's going to go away from your game and like you just mentioned, it was a structured game from your guys, just one bounce the other way, and it could be a completely different hockey game. Yeah, no, we've learned our lessons. You know, when we deviate or when we go off on our own page as individuals, we're not very good. Um, you know, but the last four games, that's 30-plus shots. Yeah, we're doing things the right way with and without the puck. And you know what? We're not getting the results we want, but if we continue to do this, it's going to turn, and, and, and it's going to turn in the positive for, for this group. And you know what? We've just got to continue believing in them. They have to continue believing in themselves. We really like this group. We're not going to quit. We're not going to walk away from this thing. We're going to fight through all the way uh, till game 54. And, and who knows? I mean, we're at the halfway point right now. And you know, it seems dark right now. And, and if you look at our record and where we're at in the standings, but you know what? We're done with that. We're, we're not, we don't care about that stuff. We care about our process. We care about our day-to-day -day approach. And are we getting better? And, and the answer is yes. And, and you know what? That's that's what we're here for. Well, you want to talk about process-driven. Ryan Roulette being rewarded with that. A uh, couple, or I should say last night, he announced his commitment to Robert Morris University. What can you say about number 30 in white? And that save on Carter Mazur keeps you in. It's a three-on-one. You're down one goal. And a lot of goalies don't make that save off that read. And how proud are you of number 30 in white uh, uh, again tonight? Extremely proud. And if you know the kid... You know what he's been through and the adversity that he's overcome to get to this point. You know what, that's what life is all about. And, and that's why we coach uh, guys like him and, and guys like every one of our guys that we have in our room right now. And um, they're, they're warriors, they're competitors. You know, they're not happy with the result. Um, you know, but they're gonna continue to work and they really care about that logo and, and the organization and leaving this place better than we found it. And, um, you know, all of them, Ryan, all the way down um, to every single guy in our room right now. Like we, you know what, it's disappointing. Losing is the worst thing in the world, but um, you know what, yeah, I'm, I'm proud of the way we handle things. Um, the last couple games, things haven't gone our way and, and we don't have guys pouting. Um, we don't have coaches on our bench chirping the other team like we saw tonight you know from their staff there's no arrogance here we're just hard nosed and we're competitive and you know what good things will happen to good people if we continue believing in doing things the right way on a day-to-day -day approach and uh, those guys on the other side they'll get theirs you know it might, it might not be us but it'll be someone you know and when you throw your top power play out 
uh, with two minutes left in, in a 4-1 game when you know you have the audacity to, to be chirping 16 and 20 year olds when you're standing in a suit on the bench like it's just you know what um, we're not going to lay on the ice when we get hit from behind by the fifth you know the fifth time by their monster over there and you know we're not going to lay there and draw five minute and bark and whine um, so I'm, I'm really proud of, of how we handle things and you know what again it's not the result we want but yeah, we're going to continue focusing on our process. We're going to continue focusing on getting better every day, and we're going to do things the right way um, because the hockey gods will flip it for us if we just continue to, to do things the right way. Thanks so much for doing this, Mike. That was Coach's Comments presented by Southside Auto Tech. Lincoln loses this one 3-1 to one against the Tri-City Storm. Lincoln will be back in action tomorrow night, 6.05 p.m. start, a little earlier than usual on a Saturday night in Omaha. Ralston Arena, we'll see you then, Stars Lancers.